Welcome Capricorns. How y'all doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Y'all let me know what's going on while y'all on lockdown. If y'all still are on lockdown or has y'all city open back up. Y'all let me know what's going on down low, down below in the comment section. Um, I also want to let you guys know that I've decided to extend the sale. So if you are looking to book a personal reading with me, you still can at a discounted rate. Um, $44.44 is going to get you a full detailed reading. You get two questions answered, okay? You'll get a full detailed reading as well as a pendulum question as well. So one of your questions can be um, a standard question or whatever question you want to ask. And then the second question can be a yes or no question, okay? I got the four pentacles that want to jump out, okay? Are you holding on to something? really really tight you don't want to let something go i feel like you guys are holding on to something or you're holding back okay let's see what messages is there for capricorn sun moon rising and venus what messages is there for capricorn thank you i got the four of pentacles i'm sorry the will of fortune the will of fortune that's that's definitely a very good energy okay that's amazing that's the universe conspiring in you guys favor okay Wow, okay, let's see. Okay. I feel like you want... You're closing the chapter, okay? You want something new. Okay. Yeah. You want you want to be happy. Oh, you want things to go in your favor. Wow, or things are going in your favor. Like, you're emotionally happy... You have all these blessings and abundance, okay? You've closed a chapter on something, okay? And you started fresh. You started over and started fresh. What is the past energy? Okay, maybe that four of pentacles was there because maybe some of you guys have been saving your money. All right, we got the king of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is energy, okay? Let's see. You could have been dealing with the fire sign. Future energy for Capricorns, please. Woo. Okay, we got the moon in the reverse. Pisces is energy. Okay, so let's get into some things, all right? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. The first card we have is the Wheel of Fortune. Very beautiful energy. The first card is always like the strongest energy. And you guys have a very, very, very good energy, okay? Wheel of Fortune changes Things could be changing for you. Things are just going in your favor. Like, you just feel like on top of your game, okay? We got the Ace of Cups here. This is emotions. This could be a new love, okay? Maybe you have a new love interest. Maybe you just want a new beginning. But this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. And this is just your cup is running over, all right? You've closed the chapter. You've closed something. The chapter is over and done with. You are done with something in your past, okay? You could have been dealing with the Leo Sagittarius or an Aries in the past, okay? Or this just, y'all could have been being a little player. You know that King of Wands? He's very, very hot in the pants and in the, in the drawers and the boxers. He a little spicy, you know? But you guys are going for emotional content, happiness. Like, this is everything that anyone could want. Like, this is money and, like, the happy life emotional and physical okay like you guys focus you're trying to make some changes okay i feel like you're making changes or things you've already made those changes and now you're starting to see the harvest of you making those changes okay all right here's that four of pentacles again okay you're trying to avoid something here okay because I got the four of pentacles and the tower reverse. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But I feel like you're trying to avoid some type of disaster with this five of swords. Like, you're trying to avoid something here. And by you avoiding this, this has brought you nothing but good, <laughs> good energy, okay? Maybe this involves a, a love situation, love triangle that has gone wrong. Um, in the past, with this lovers in reverse, you could have been dealing with a Gemini, but we got the Ten of Wands, okay? And I think this Ten of Wands is 
symbolizing this world card. Well, it's clarifying this world card that a chapter is completed and over and done with. Okay, why is the world here? Okay, the five of wands. Yeah, you're done with some challenging, something that was challenging, something that was a fight, something that was, that was, you were battling with is over with. Okay, you're making that very clear. Okay, that something that was irritating you or agitating you, you're, you're closing that chapter. Why is the five of wands here? Ooh, six of wands. You're going after success. And you feel like, okay, I'm going to, I've, I've already, I've, I've beat that level. I'm better than that, okay? I won, okay? I won, I closed that chapter, that's over and done with. But I see you got a spy or you're, or you're spying on someone, okay? Let's see why, I want to see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Such a beautiful energy. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? We got the Ten of Wands and wanted to come back out, okay? Something about you're making a big change or you're contemplating on making some type of big change, okay? With this Eight of Swords, this is on your mind. I feel like you're ready to close a trying chapter of your life because I feel like you want to make a big change and you want to do something new. You want something new, okay? You're not... You, you, you have to go within, okay? We got the Strength card here. You could be dealing with Leo. But the Eight of Swords could kind of say that you may be a little afraid, okay? You may be looking for the strength, okay, to make this big change. But I feel like you are wanting to make some type of big change. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Ooh, Nine of Swords. It's been keeping you up at night. Something that you've been thinking about, okay? Something, something that you've been thinking about. You want to make some type of change. Here we go again with that page of swords. Why is the ace of cups here? You want a fresh start. You want something new. You want something new. Okay. Tower. The tower here. Scorpio's energy. We got the queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with the seven of cups. Okay. So you're possibly like looking at all of your options. You're looking at all of your options. Okay. Someone here, you're discussing finances with someone, okay? Or someone is always, you know, constantly bringing up money, okay? Or this could be you having a conversation with your family, okay? And it could be about starting something, starting something new, okay? Why is the tower here? This is a big change. Like, this is big. Why is the tower here? Okay, the magician. Okay, yeah, I'm telling you, getting ready to make some changes. See, look at this. You making plans. You making some type of plan. You planning for the future. You planning ahead. Okay, whatever this is, this is big. Some of you may have been seeing five, five, five. I know I've been seeing five, five, five a lot lately. Okay, this change is big. Okay, I feel like it's unexpected. People are gonna look at you like. Are you serious? Like this? Are you okay? Let me check your temperature. Because this is so big. Okay? This is so big. And I feel like you're closing the chapter. You're done with the fighting. You feel like, you know, I won. Okay? The battle is over. And I'm going to close it. I'm going to close this chapter. I want something new. I feel like you guys are ready to make that change. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups? Beautiful energy. See, look at this. You're moving forward. Some of you may have gotten a new card with the Six of Pentacles and the Chariot card and the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. Some of y'all might have gotten a card, possibly like with, with your, uh, your stimulus um, but I'm getting like, you're happy with something, something that you accomplished. I feel like you're trying to accomplish something or you've already accomplished something and it was big. Okay. It was big. Why is the king of wands here in the past energy? I feel like with the ace of swords, I feel like you are seeing your worth. Okay. Why is the ace of swords here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Okay. 
I feel like you're regretting that you didn't move a lot, you know, do this sooner. I feel like you're regretting that you didn't make these type, this big change sooner. Okay, I see that you're starting to see your worth. You're looking at, you know, you know what you can do, what action you can take. Something you've got, you guys have made some type of big change. Okay, some something big. Okay, but why is the moon here for future energy? The moon here is in reverse, so there's something that's hidden, something that's that you possibly are keeping a secret. Oh, the lovers, <laughs> the lovers, and it's in the reverse. Okay. There could be a love triangle here. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Okay. Maybe you're thinking about asking um, for someone to, you know, for a relationship. Something that you've been keeping a secret. I got, um, you're thinking about something. Look at this. Four of Swords. All right. This is you contemplating. You meditating, thinking about this. And this, Knight of Cups, is the invitation. Okay. The extending of a invitation and then we got the two of cups this is a connection a bond okay maybe you're thinking about asking you know that special person you i feel like you you want you feel like maybe that's the missing piece you may feel like you you worked on yourself everywhere else in every other area now this area over here needs to be worked on this is something that you may you may have had a, a relationship that you've been keeping a secret okay we got the moon card pisces's energy and gemini's energy here with the lovers card but you may have been keeping you know this on the low okay but i feel like we got the three of pentacles here um, this is working together, um, building something. Why is the lovers here in reverse? Page of Swords. Okay, there's some spying going on. We got the Justice card. Could be a Libra, okay? Could be a Libra that's spying on you, on your relationship. Yeah, see, look, we got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the Page of Cups. Somebody's questioning you about a relationship okay if this is going to balance out okay somebody's questioning you about a relationship why is the page of swords they're definitely spying going on with the moon and the page of swords definitely someone is spying queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn okay somebody may also like be watching your pockets okay we got the star card in reverse could be dealing with an aquarius okay but somebody's trying to make you doubt this relationship, okay? Somebody's trying to make you doubt this. With the star card in the reverse, this is a, you know, losing faith, okay? Somebody could be making you, um, you know, you could be having doubts about the situation. But then you got people, other people looking on to this situation and, tell, you know, giving you doubt doubts about the situation as well. Because I got the five of pentacles here, all right? So this is like the bad days, okay? You know, I feel like there's so much good things here. And then you got somebody over here that's like, why is the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, which is you guys' energy, okay? And the Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold, rejected, you know, bad days. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Uh-huh. Somebody wants you, look, see, I feel like you are contemplating, like you're thinking about thinking the worst. Okay, like I feel like there's something here that you want, but you you think the worst about it, okay? Like you you think the worst about it. Like you have negative thoughts about it. Got the four of swords, king of swords, and the five of pentacles. Like when you think about this you like you think the worst so maybe that's why you've been keeping it a secret keeping it hidden because you may have not figured your emotions out or how you feel about it yet okay so i feel like you guys are going in for the kill like i feel like y'all have advanced you've worked on yourself you've done the inner work you've done the outer work and now this is like a missing piece to the puzzle like you're trying to get that missing piece to the puzzle you're trying to completely, fully complete, fully complete yourself. Okay, so 
Y'all don't mind my nails. I know they toe up. All right, so what message is there for Capricorn? We got leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. Okay, so don't be afraid to take that risk, Capricorns, because spirit is letting you know, like, go ahead and take that risk. Go ahead and take that leap. All right. Ooh, I mean, they're flying out. We got priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? Okay. All right. Something about you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Wow. Wow. It's time for you to call back your power as well. Cut the cords that need to be cut. And don't worry about, am I going to be safe? You're protected. We got protection here. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Okay? And it's time to also dance with life. Do something to change your energy. All right, let's get one more card for Capricorns, please. So we got no, wait, postpone. All right, so let's get some clarifiers. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers. Leap. Why is leap here? Five of Pentacles. Once you take this leap, I feel like you, I feel like intuitive, I feel like you aren't listening to your intuition here, okay? Like, I just feel, I just keep getting like you guys are thinking the worst. If I take this risk, um, I might be left out in the cold or I'm going to feel like I'm missing out on something. Like, I feel like you aren't following your intuition, okay? Your intuition may have been, like, something here is telling you to wait, wait out something, um... But, or that's maybe what you've been doing, like just waiting it out, waiting for something to fall out of the sky and knock you across the head and say, okay, take this leap, jump now. Um, but I've been getting a lot of like hasty energy, like a lot of back and forth energy, just kind of like, you know, not taking things serious energy. Like, I feel like you guys may have, you know, aren't just, I just feel like you guys aren't listening to your intuition. Like, that's just what I'm getting. Why is the five of pentacles here? We got the strength card, it looks like. Okay. Strength card. You could have been dealing with the Leo and the Emperor here. Four of Cups. Oh, you don't want you don't want nobody telling you what to do. You don't want anybody. Um you want to stand in your own power. I see that. Okay. Let's see why uh, Priestess is here. Look at you guys coming out strong, okay? I got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Eight of Wands, and the King of Pentacles, okay? So, I feel like... Why the King of Pentacles here? Like, maybe... I, I just keep getting, like... There's distance. Okay, I'm getting like there's distance here. We got the Eight of Wands in the world, which symbolizes travel. Okay, which symbolizes travel. So you could be at a distance. Okay, or there's distance between you and a person. Okay, I'm getting that as well. Um, I got the Devil here, which is you guys' energy, and the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're focused on work. You're focused on your money, most definitely. Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. You're focused, and the Page of Pentacles, yeah. You're definitely focused on work, so you're distant, or people think that you're distant. But you're focused on your bag, okay? Your focus is on the bag. Why is no here? Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. And the two of cups, Jud judge me, okay? Something about don't listen to someone. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Nine of Wands. Something about giving a relationship a second chance, okay? 
Two of Cups and the Judgment card is giving a relationship a second chance. And the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is saying that someone needs to put the work in and put the effort in. But I got no here. Are you not willing to put in the work or the effort to make this relationship work? Okay. Are you listening to other people um, when it comes to this relationship? Okay. Maybe you feel like it's not going to be worth it. Like I said, I feel like you guys are looking at a situation bad in a bad light, okay? I feel like you don't want to put in, um, you don't want to invest into this, okay? Like you don't want to put in, you don't want to invest because I feel like you, you're looking at a situation like you regret something, you're looking back and you're regretting um, investing, in the past, I feel like this is someone that you're dealing with from the past. Like someone gave somebody some chances. Somebody, you feel like you gave this person a chance and they messed it up. So you don't want to invest in them, okay? So you could be deciding that you're going to move forward or you're trying to move forward. But this is still causing you a lot of stress and a lot of worry. So you guys have to figure that out. You guys have to figure that out. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Three of Wands wanted to jump out. Lots of waiting here. Like, you're just waiting. Waiting something out. One is justice in reverse here. Could be dealing with a uh, Libra. And the death card. Scorpio. Yeah, like, you feel like something isn't going to work, okay? You feel like something isn't going to work. Like, you just look at the situation very negatively, okay? Very negatively. And we got the Empress, okay? Why is the Empress here? This could be a mother, okay? You've been keeping somebody waiting for a long time, okay? Why is the Empress here? Ooh, cars are flying. Okay. I see a conversation being had here about the past okay about the past resurfacing okay oh you want to know what somebody thinks about it maybe you're going to go talk to um a mother or sister or aunt someone like with a very feminine motherly energy you want to know what they think about it okay i feel like you've been keeping your feelings and your emotions hidden about this situation could be dealing with the pisces here with the moon card especially in reverse you know this is things that are just emotions or your subconscious things that you keep hidden okay because you you've lost faith in this situation and you you don't know what you, you don't know what you want to do now i feel like you're going to be getting advice from someone um, but the thing of it is, is you have to make your own decision, okay? You have to make your own decision. And if you feel like the situation isn't going to work for you, then don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it if you feel like you aren't going to be willing to put in the work. If you're not ready to put in the work, don't do it. If they're not ready to put in the work, don't do it. But you have to have a conversation with that person and not getting the advice from, you know, everybody else. Like, if your mother doesn't like that person or your sister doesn't like that person why would you go get advice from them because they're going to straight up tell you like no don't do it da, 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 da. you have to get advice from people who don't you know who's going to give you authentic advice not based off of what they seen or heard okay but this makes me feel like this is someone from your past okay this makes me feel like this is some just the way I, it feels like you guys are feeling about it it just makes me feel like it's something, someone that you've dealt with already, okay? And you want someone's, you know, outlook or perspective on it. All right, so what messages? Let's see. Let's get advice from the angels. Let's see what, what message we have for Capricorn. We got be assertive. I also have within the next few weeks, you'll be ready. Look at this. You're ready, okay? And the perfect opportunity and timing is getting ready to come up and this is going to be completely up to you and i got yes okay i got yes all right let's put one more card
There we go. All right. We have it's up to you. Okay. It's up to you to make this situation, to resolve this situation. Okay. Look at this peaceful resolution. It's up to you. Okay. I'm not sure what happened in the past or if this is a new person. Um, but I feel like you guys hold the key to bringing this thing together. Um, you, it's up to you. Okay. And it's up to you to take action. Okay. And I feel like if you remain positive, then things will, you will be able to come to a, um, peaceful resolution, but it's going to be the ball is in your court. Like it's completely up to you and how you move and how you, you know, how you move like the ball is in your court. Okay. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, information is in the Dropbox, okay? All right, I'll talk to y'all later.